Hello. If you prescribe to my channel, inscribe, describe, subscribe to my channel. You've probably seen this guitar. Whoa. This is my parts caster. If you haven't seen it before, watch all these videos. It's gonna be three videos, a series of videos on how I made this. It needs a little bit of work. I'm gonna be doing some shielding because like many um, single coil guitars, it's got some noise, some hum that I wanna to try to get rid of. It's not terrible, but can we hear that? That's on clean. All right, it's picking up electro. I'm sure you can hear that. It's picking up the EMF, EMF. It's picking up the EMI. It's picking up the EMI. This is just gonna be a quick um, retooling video kind of. The other thing I'm gonna do, it's fitted with an obsidian wire uh, drop-in kit. And the last pot right here kind of pushes on the, uh, the cavity in here. So I'm just gonna take a Dremel tool and just rub away some of the wood there so it fits a little bit softer. Cause you can actually see, see that? It's lift, it's pushing a little bit. It's actually raising the plate up a little bit. And I'm talking about the mouth full of the guitar. You ever have a mouth full of the guitar? Pushing a little bit on the side. Yeah, we're gonna do shielding. I wanted to do the uh, paint. I forgot the name of the paint. You can get it on Guitar Fetish, you can get it on Stumac. They're out of stock on Guitar Fetish. And Stumac, it's kind of expensive. I don't really want to spend that much. I already have a roll. I have a roll of copper tape, copper foil tape. I've used it before. It's not the best thing, just because it's it's tough to work with and takes a long time to do. Um, I'm gonna put that on or in the cavities, all of them. Well, let's make sure those settings. And then we're gonna come back when I'm done and see how much of a difference it makes. Even if it makes it a little better, it's fine. I remember when this guitar had the single coils. It sounded just like this. It's just something that happens, right? All right, let's go. All right, I'm in my garage. And I only come out here in the fall and in the spring when the weather is nice and mild because otherwise it's too cold or it's too hot. Start with this cavity. We're gonna do the Dremel. I'm gonna see when it comes out, just a tad tight. Like, just barely. Just barely tight. I think the issue is actually is pushing against the pick guard. Just a little bit. It's like probably two millimeters or something. So, be safe. More protection, right? Like that much. Like millimeters, right? Milliliters. There it goes. And yes, I mean, I did do the pick guard. That's got it. Got to do the cutouts, but. All right, so you got to see that. So did that make a difference? Let's find out. Same settings on the amp. It's not all gone. It'll never all be gone because this isn't a humbucker. Yeah, I've got the same settings, same volume. I think that did help. Actually, let's cut back and forth between the beginning, but can we hear that? And right now, what you hear now, obviously when I touch it, mutes it a little bit. I would recommend the paint over the, um, over the tape, the copper tape, just for probably ease of installation because that took me quite a while. Yeah, if you're thinking of doing some shielding to help shield a guitar, I think it's worth it. Let me know what you think in the comments. Leave a comment below with all those comments down there. Keep meaning to clean that up. All right, play guitar and have fun. See you in the next video. Bye.